Kathy, I wanted to teach um, you guys who are following this um, ukulele journey, um, Robin in particular, and thinking about you. My mom used to always play this little ditty when I was a kid growing up. Oh, wait, hold on. It always does this to me. Let me go to my YouTube, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Are you connecting? It is kind of stormy today. I need to get a better phone plan. <laughs> but um, it, it, it's a great way to exercise and practice everything, you know? So it's... It's a little ditty and um, it sounds really complicated, but trust me, it's really easy because you're only playing G7, which is that open two, one, two. Yeah, so you play your G7. And then you C, you know, like that. that. That's really, it's just two chords. So open notes, you know, your G, C, E, that's your C chord. And you're just writing the A string as like your, your melody. So you can use any finger and it's basically on that 12th fret. 12, 10, 8, 12, 10, 8, 7. <laughs> and then open, 2, two three that's the melody e, d, 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 d. and as long as you do that with all the open notes dun, 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 dun. and then here you're going to switch to g7 and that plays that b note e, d, and then up to c that's all it is so you can just practice that first with just your strumming. And then G7. And then the next part, you play C, but we're gonna, you know, um, to do that little waltz, so you're playing every other string. So I'm gonna pluck the C string and the A string, one, and then I'm gonna pluck the G string and the C string two times, like a waltz, you know, so. Let go and play open, and then put to C, and then let go, and then here we're gonna go. It's gonna go one, two, three. So one, two, three, and then you plant there, and then G seven, and then you play it again, G seven, and then pluck, pluck, and then just let go of the one here, but keep those there. One, and then put this back on there. Oh, I, I, you can't even see that. So that, that waltz part, you're playing C, and then we're plucking, you know, just these two strings, the A string and the C string, and then the next two strings are open, which is this G string and the E string. So you can just practice that. And so from the C string here, you've got that one, If you want, you can just and then, and then just pluck that one and then lift up again. And then you put the whole thing together. the basic structure of it and from there you can do any picking pattern any strumming pattern and noodle around with it any which way you want to to practice any of your techniques so if I want to practice my upward arpeggios I can go downward 
Gracias. since I've done that. And then you can just do strumming, like... like just noodling around on the scale and that's going to help you develop that, that scale on the A string at least in open C and then you know your G7 you can So it's a great way just to practice your right hand technique just because everything is just open C and then G7, open C and then G7. And you can practice your finger picking, you can practice your strumming patterns and just have a lot of fun with it. And then like one of the sequences I like to do is, um, and this is going to get really advanced, so don't feel like intimidated by it. Um, it just, it's practice, you know, um, anytime you're learning a pattern, it's always good just to default to the C and G7 to practice whatever pattern it is you're trying to drill in for your right hand technique. So uh, I'll start with the, the classic way, <laughs> oh gosh. little lesson there to noodle around and practice your right hand strumming and picking techniques with simple C and G7 and just having fun playing with that 12, 10, 8, 7, open, 2, 2, 3 on the A string. So that's A and technically that's G, F, E, A, B, B, C. We'll get the ham runs and pull offs later. That's another technique to develop. Um, but if you want to just like jump ahead a little bit, you can start with just like playing the C. And then once you play that, just press down one. So you get that little, and then hit that, that 
with your A7, and then you can go play your B7. And that's like a little blues vamp, and then if you can get up to the E7, Yeah. <laughs>